Hey, this is Ari. I recently sat down with brain health expert and functional neurologist, Dr. Titus Chu. We had an epic conversation on the podcast, and I wanted to share this little clip with you from that podcast and also encourage you to click the link below, check out the full episode. Lots of value in there. So enjoy this little clip. So to, again, to create a distinction, like fatigue overall is just the sense of tiredness and this physical, sometimes like heaviness, right? That people can experience. I'm sure your audience knows all too well. Um, but when we talk about brain fatigue, it's more triggered by mental activities or brain activities. Um, actually, yeah, to, to be even more specific, when I talk about uh, mental activities or brain functions, mental activities just falls into one category of brain functions. There's so many others that we'll talk about in a second that's important to this conversation this question but yeah brain fatigue is like when your brain just feels tired right where you're not able to think clearly um it's not quite the same as brain fog but i see that very very common they come hand in hand right so if somebody's reading or they're using their mind their mental capacities they just start to get really tired so i have a lot of patients who after their concussion they're able to, they were like they killed it at their work or whatever job that they had. They were high achievers. They were able to really, they did really well, right? And they took pride in their brain function. But then after, for example, like a concussion, they can do the same amount of work, but like at 25% their capacity, sometimes 10 or 15%, right? So they'd be able to think, and that area of their brain wasn't injured, but the endurance, that brain endurance. So they might sit down and try to read or you know, analyze some problems or something. And then within five, 10 minutes, they would just get fatigued and crash, right? So that's an example of brain fatigue. But the interesting thing is, and that's the thing, a lot of people think that when we talk about brain function, it's all about mental functions and cognitive capacities. Well, guess what? Your brain is in charge of virtually every single function that we have. I mean, it allows us to move through the world, like to ambulate and to walk around. It allows us to have good balance, to have good core stability. It allows us to move our eyes around properly so we can you know, scan an environment and perceive things visually. It allows us to perceive uh, like sounds and when I'm speaking right now to be able to hear clearly and process what that means, right? So the brain doesn't just isn't just involved in mental cognitive functions. It's involved with movement functions, our emotional state. It's also involved in stress response, right? There's a whole there's whole regions of the nervous system that control the stress response. This area we call the brain stem, and in particular, the top part of the brain stem known as the mesencephalon. That plays a huge role in setting, setting the tone for our stress response. In addition to that, our brains also control digestive function. So my point is, when we say something like brain function or brain fatigue, one way it can look, and most people then can relate with it, is, yeah, you know, I'm reading or I'm trying to use some cognitive capabilities and I get really tired. So that's, you know, a very classical sign of brain fatigue. Mm -hmm. But it can also be like... Um, you know, after a certain trauma or concussion or after like chronic periods of stress, whenever I'm in a car now, I get nauseous or I get motion sick. That's a form of brain fatigue as well. It's just a different area of the brain we call the vestibular system mm -hmm. getting fatigued. Hey, this is Ari. I hope you enjoyed this video. And one more thing before you go. Actually, two more things. One is if you enjoyed this particular little clip, uh, the link to the full length podcast is in the description down below. So make sure to check that out. Also, one more thing. Let me ask you a question. What if I could show you how to double your energy levels and dramatically improve your brain function, reducing your anxiety and depression to a degree on par with antidepressant drugs, but without the side effects. Sound pretty interesting? Well, there are in fact numerous compounds that can do this, that have been shown to do this. And I'll, I'll take you through just a few of these very briefly. One of them is rhodiola rosea. And this has been shown in studies, uh, rhodiola rosea extract in people 
with stress-related fatigue and exhaustion to cut their levels of fatigue and brain fog in half in less than a month. Just this one compound. There's another compound uh, in my formula Energenesis called NT factor phospholipids that's been shown to help repair mitochondrial membranes and mitochondrial health to the level of healthy 29 year olds taking people with deteriorated mitochondria who are over the age of 65, restoring it to the level of healthy 29 year olds. Um, and that has been shown in numerous studies in various types of chronic fatigue, aging associated chronic fatigue, obesity related chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome to increase energy levels by 30 to 45 percent in the span of four to 12 weeks, depending on the specific study. So dramatic improvements in a very, very short period of time. Uh, two more compounds that are amazing, I highly recommend that are in my formula, Ultra Brain, along with Rhodiella rosea. Saffron extract. This has been shown to increase levels of, um, improve your mood, I should say, and decrease levels of depression on par with fluoxetine, which is Prozac. And uh, not only that, but with fewer side effects, it's much safer and much less likely to cause negative effects than antidepressant drugs are. Acetyl-L-carnitine is another compound that's been shown to dramatically improve brain health in older adults. It also improve energy levels in older adults with chronic fatigue by between 40 to 50% in just the span of two to, th to four months. And uh, the last thing I'll mention here is acetyl-L-carnitine has also been compared to antidepressant drugs and been shown, like saffron, to be as effective as antidepressant drugs in combating depression, but without the harmful side effects that so often occur with the drugs. So this is just a small uh, sampling of the over 35 compounds that are in my formulas, Energenesis and UltraBrain, that are all proven to dramatically improve energy levels, mitochondrial health, and brain health, and much, much more. Uh, and I highly recommend that you go check these out. If you're struggling with depression or anxiety or brain fog, if you're struggling with stress-related ex exhaustion and burnout, if you're struggling with chronic fatigue, go check out these formulas, give them a shot. I promise you are gonna be blown away by the results, and like I said, the science has already proven that these things work. So you don't have to just take my word for it. Uh, there's lots of research to support that. And I'll even link to some of that research down below so you can verify everything that I just said for yourself. So the links to those studies will be in the description for this video uh, down below. So check them out. Uh, check out the formulas on the energyblueprint.com. Again, uh, Energenesis is the mitochondrial formula and Ultra Brain is our brain formula. Check them out, try them out, and I think you're going to be blown away by the results. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.